And welcome to the final part of the Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus playthrough. Uh, yeah, this game is rather short. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I didn't. I mean, most games we play are. I, I didn't die that number of times. I don't think. But uh, Dude, uh yeah. Remember how DMT five was 24, uh, 24 24 episodes. Twenty three. And I didn't die. Well, twenty three episodes. But I, I didn't die once until the end. <laughs> yeah, but like you have played that one like a hundred thousand times, so I'm not even surprised by that. Um, as you can, but as you can see from on the screen, this is not Resident Evil Four. So. Not Resident Evil Four. It is not Resident Evil Four. <laughs> It is a different game, but you just think, um, like, the PS2 era was sort of like when games kind of went longer mainstream. Yeah, RPGs have always been long since, like, the dawn of Dungeons & Dragons. Um, we know that firsthand, Carlos and Cam, but, uh... <laughs> uh we do. Yeah, but for games... Oh my, uh, d d even for the little short time I was there, was fucking long. Oh yeah, for sure. Like that entirety thing, like I wasn't even there for the entirety of that thing. Cameron was, weren't you, right? No. I think so. The entirety yeah, of Clark's D&D &D session? Bingo. My or, like, the um, campaign, rather. The entire campaign? Of Clark's D&D, yeah. D &D, yeah. I, I was actually not there for all of it. Oh, really? Oh, well, well, like, were you there from the beginning, well, though? That's before, what we're getting at. But, so, I was there for when we did the character switch up. Right, okay. But the original one that we started, which we never stopped the story. It was the same story, just different. We changed characters a bit. Okay. So what did that happen? Oh, characters? yeah. But, and I didn't get... I only got put in after someone else left. And I was the replacement. No, that was me. Because you're referring to Jeremy, right? No, uh, I no, was no, replaced... No, I, I think I was a replace for whoever a cleric character was. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I just joined. I don't know. For yeah. A, I was a replacement for someone who was a cleric. Oh, what? No. I'd also it, left. No, it couldn't have been Brian, because he was there when you were there, right? Yeah. Brian okay. wasn't a cleric, though. He was a ranger. Never mind, then. Yeah, I was replacing for someone. You guys, like, lose a person and then you need them to be replaced, or they, I was. Or was I truly like a fifth per random person who just came in? Uh, yeah, you were an addition. You weren't a, a random guy off the street. <laughs> That's essentially how it was, though, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you explain the story again. So I, I remember this guy very clearly. I remember like, oh, I, uh, it was like, it was, well, I think it was, yeah, it was junior, junior year. It was during a time where we were just snowing a lot, so we had like a few days off. Yeah. Uh, I, I walk up, I'm just walking, I got like bored, just like sticking in my house. So I'm like, I'm going for a walk. And I like, I like taking like uh, some, a uh, few long walks. So I walk up to the school, and I just like, and I'm just like, so I got a text from Colin, like, hey, do you want to hang out? Like, I'm sure. And like, where do you, where do you want to meet up? And, like, and then I go to, like, Clark's house because it was, like, right there. And I'm like, I, 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 uh, I meet up with you guys. And I'm like, I, I wouldn't mind joining the D&D the, uh, the D &D campaign. The, the first time I was there, I couldn't join because you guys were, uh, were, what's it called? We're about to start, and I was praying, trying to make a character from scratch. Yeah. And that was the first time I met Ethan. It was, yeah. And Clark. And Austin. And Alec. The only people I knew from there was, uh... Uh, fucking Colin and Cameron. Yeah. Huh. Okay, then. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't know any other of the fucking guys there. No. No, I didn't. When did. joining that. It and was just me and Colin. Yeah, and he sat on the left of me, and I was like, oh, who is this guy? I don't like him who, very much. Who, <laughs> who is this Mexican man sitting next to a, me? Catapult over the wall. Catapult over the wall. <laughs> uh, no, no, honestly, I was like the least buff of the group because since all of you were playing for so long, you had like some magical weapons. I had like my puny ass fucking basic ass bitch bow. Yeah. 
and and, and the tiny so dagger. Fucking, I was pure utility. That was all I was. You was, and you were a bat one for a good couple of sessions as well. Yeah, a bat one. I mean, never that character. <laughs> that drunk motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Take you Let's go. Nice driving, buddy. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, uh, that just, uh, which my favorite thing during the entirety of, of one of those sessions was the uh, explosive toilets. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Me and you literally killed a man. Oh shit! My my head just died. One sec. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, where we legitimately killed a man and prolapsed his anus. <laughs> Whoa. Hold on. Oh, that's Carmelita. She looks trapped. You okay? Can you hear us now? Carlos? It's just a misunderstanding. I guess he's connecting. He's he is, probably. Uh-oh, probably stuck her Oh, it, it dead. Hello? What? What? Oh, no, I, I, uh, I have got my second head to the line. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Going back to the toilet shit. <laughs> Literally? Yeah, I could do it. Ah. Considering that, uh... Uh, considering that we killed a man? Oh, well, yeah. He oh, really? killed a man, prolapsed his anus, destroyed a bathroom. <laughs> Dude, I, lo I loved how wacky. Because, like, everybody entered the fucking mansion their own way. Uh, Josh not knowing what the fuck we were really talking about. Just yeah. Oh, yeah, no, he's thinking we all did this in real life. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, I literally caused the bathroom to explode by no, throwing a fucking no, knife no, on a string, scorpion style. Yeah, yeah, that was like, here, here's the thing, like, uh, uh, Austin, uh, Ethan, and Colin were all going to, like, the main gate, trying to, like, just, you know, find the pay. Alec like, literally was walking his happy ass yeah, in. Yeah. yeah. He, he was able to, like, fucking charisma his way in. Somehow. Fucking, I think Austin had something to do with the fly. Yeah, no, he, he just made himself to a fly, no? Yeah. Yeah, he, he just was made himself to a fly. And the uh, main Carlos's idea was just... Go through the the sewers. Sewer. Yeah, go through the sewers. And... Uh... <laughs> what happened was, like, okay, we buy the hole for the, uh, for the toilets, toilet. but they're too small. What do we do? Well, and, uh, there's uh, a bunch of methane gas building up. Why not let's cause a spark and make the thing explode? Yes. So I grab my rope, give it to Cameron. He fucking swings it around for a little bit and fucking, fucking literally, it. Yeah, fucking scorpion style no, you with a fucking you. dagger and rope and straight up just fucking started, started an explosion. No, yeah, what we did is like, we, we, he does that as we're jumping down to like the sewer water so we don't die. Yeah. And then we really come back up, go to the fucking sewer, uh, sewer drainage, and like find a, a guy with a prolapsed anus because of the explosion. <laughs> I think it was that same recording session where, like, in real recording session, D and D session, um, <laughs> uh, Freudian slip there. Um, <laughs> Uh, it was like the, in real life there was a fly just roaming around our table. Then Austin just pointed it and said Insectus Biggus <laughs> And then we all laughed about it. <laughs> yeah. Um dude. Now me and me and Ken were like a chaotic duo sometimes. Oh yeah, for sure. And I know I align myself as cha chaotic neutral just so I could take the most libertarian approach possible because <laughs> <laughs> but, I want chaotic good, but uh, for some not like a lie. I, I, do you remember when Alec was trying to convince us to go fucking outside with, uh, not Dolly and the other guy? Trotame. Trotame. He was like, why did we join with Trotame? And we were all like, you could have. You could have. No. I, I, like, I. Go ahead. My character was like, so neutral, he didn't even like, well. No, mine was like a chaotic good, so I tried me yeah. with like a Mine was so good, neutral, like, so it was like, I didn't know what side to go with, I'm like... <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what I mean, I thought that'd be interesting for myself to just go with neutral and see just, um... No, mine was how like chaotic, chaotic good. I just don't and feel like I lived up to that, though. <laughs> nah, no, you didn't. No, no, I felt like I was like, way too good. I know, I no, no, honestly, it must have, like, I, 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 I think Colin had the most, like, Basic bitch thing, but he also had, like, but with the only reason to actually not go with trauma, he'd be like, he's stronger than me, so I need to kill him. 
Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's, that was his, like his whole reason for not joining Charming. Alec was like, money though! Money! That was like his entire reason to fucking join up with Charming. Just a financial incentive of getting a lot of do you, money. Do you, remem what? do you remember what his alignment was? I don't remember. No, I do not remember. Okay, then. My character was basically utterly useless. <laughs> aside from just Asi being the guy who took you, the damage. Asi I, no, aside from like, what was it, the great axe, or what did you have that was like really it powerful? It was like a fucking doom blade. I right, had, that yeah, thing. I had the doom blade and the great axe. Yeah, that combo right there, especially like the two-handed strike the fucking thing. Fucking cleave. That was the great. Fucking, the doom blade plus adding you know, the two you know abilities saved, I had. You know what saved my ass? You want to see the fucking scorpion get over here, ability? Yeah, I fucking never saved you with that. Hate yeah. that section, by the way. <laughs> huh? Oh yeah, hate that section, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, okay. I was wrong about you. Break me out of this force field. Um, yeah, go on. And I'll make it up to you um, somehow. The, the, because like, if you know, Cameron was like, oh, get over here to a fucking uh, what was it, those Cthulhu-looking motherfuckers? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. My player just mind Mortal players. Kombat saved your ass. My, he, yeah, he grabbed a fucking mind player just stuck to my head and fucking yanked it at me the turn before he was guy. They were gonna eat my brain. You set me free. Why? And he was like, oh, thank God. And then Cam was was like fucking had that that uh, that mind player just in a fucking vice grip. That guy's on my Oh yeah, that was. Wow. Right. <laughs> Not letting so that fucker go. Yeah. And then we had- we, we fucking took- like the final session where we, where we took down the- uh, what was- what was the- the eye motherfucker. Um, the behemoth? Is this called the behemoth? I thought that was a different session. No, it was a different session, but like, the final session where we were like- we created like- uh, what we got, we cloned the eye thing? That, that was, a, no, that's what I'm referring to. I think that was not the final session. Oh, oh yeah, it was the session before that, yeah. I mean, we were still going at it, though, let's be honest. Yeah. That is true. <laughs> Colin kind of fucking forced Claire to, like, nerf, nerf them. Them bars <laughs> magic, yo! <laughs> <laughs> because, like, uh, he was able to, like, nullify the abilities. Of the what's it called? Of uh, of the behemoth or whatever. I, 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 I think it's. I don't remember at this point. Yeah, I don't remember either. Um, but we were, he was able to nullify it, so we were just able to fucking snipe at it. But it was focused on like our clone, the clone of itself. What the fuck was that? <laughs> that's that's Josh's reaction to our stories. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it was like, it was like, uh, to the clone of it, he, um, and we were just sniping at it with like our abilities. Me, which is mostly my arrows. <laughs> he, he, he was such an Clark was in such a fucking loop that he had to nerf them. Oh like, yeah. Not be able to fucking uh, cancel out magic. Yeah. Meaning that, meaning that you and Colin were like. It, were it, yeah, it and... would have just been an eternal stalemate at that point if he had kept yeah. that rule in. Because he kept it like five feet above. Uh, so, like, each time he stopped staring at it, it, it gained its powers back. And then it would nerf hit it. And then, like, and then it, it, it would try to look back down. To like nerf you guys, then nerf back up. It would be an eternal stalemate. Granted, it would actually be that eternal, considering that me uh, and uh, and uh, Austin will be able to snipe snipe at it long enough to kill it. Eh, maybe, yeah. <sighs> but we just stealing fucking Dalian's bow, basically. Yeah. <laughs> just joking it. And well, <laughs> my only good one I think was like that one ability that just made it so the enemy had to like decrease their uh, attack roll by two. They were good, like they could get 14, but they get 12 instead because of the. Right. The, yeah. But if I miss it, it would be like by one, but still uh, incre increasing it by one was still a fucking thing. I was pure utility. I was pure like, hey, you're about to get nerfed, motherfucker. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's basically what you were. Oh yeah, and also um, uh, gazer laser combo. Gate with laser was a fucking combo. Me and you had like the gate. I was the gazer laser then, like I. Uh, no, 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 no. Like it, yeah, it, I was the ice. Uh, it was you and Colin that had to do the gazer laser. Is that actually what no. it's called, or is it, or is it funny because it's gay? <laughs> I actually never understood that. <laughs> it, it was because it was a uh, gazer, as in like a uh, a uh, gazer, a uh, gazer. You know, like uh, oh, it was it no. All reliable. All reliable. Uh, the fuck. you know the, the fish net from SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick, there is one more thing I want you to have. <gasps> All reliable. <laughs> no, um, fuck. What is it called? All reliable? No. I'm trying to remember it. Like, you know those, uh, water sprouts just shoot up from the air? Oh, geyser! Geyser, yeah, yeah okay. Geyser. Oh. Geyser. And so, like, we just called it Gazer Laser because it was, like, funny. Okay, I wondered. I, I had a feeling it was someone like that. Sorry. And now you're gonna forget. <laughs> <laughs> what were we and, talking about? <laughs> uh, and what was, what was the other thing? I'm trying to remember. And yeah, it was like because we had a bag of holding and we just decided to fucking buff, give it a fucking buff and just store a bunch of water. And it's the fact that water pressure is a fucking thing. Yeah. And, and, and I like how Colin decided to fucking buff it with like bones. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was a powerful technique, yes. But and then, oftentimes, I, I froze it right afterwards with the icy terrain. Yeah. No, no, because we we couldn't use it that often. True. Because it was like, uh, because like I think that was a little one-time use, considering that or we didn't have bones to replenish. The was, wasn't your gazer laser combo thing yeah, like an at at will power or something? The gazer laser was uh was at will basically. Yeah, and my icy terrain was uh, only an encounter one. Yeah, encounter, but still, it made us so it made it so me and you had like a fucking bitch in combo. <laughs> For sure, <laughs> definitely yes. <laughs> like if we had to like stop an enemy, didn't power, we? Didn't we freeze that Jello monster because of it? Yes, we did. Yeah. I started moving like afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> and, and thank God, Colin had that teleportation skill because uh, he was, like, oh yeah. Oh wait, no! It had to be something else because I was occupied with that um, door. I don't think that was well, me then. No, uh, no, no! I mean, uh, the gazer laser was strong enough to fucking just push it back. Oh uh, right, okay, okay. So the like, gazer laser, gazer laser, gazer laser, gazer laser, <laughs> like frantically. You said it was my turn. <laughs> the word "gay" was uttered multiple times during that last sentence. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, it was like I was doing that, and and then it was like okay, uh, and then, and then I think we were also doing some damage because we were like we were trying to kill it, and we eventually teleported behind it and killed it. Yeah, which was great. <laughs> yeah, I forget. Did, we, did you just decide to stick around? To um, the, the no, I, I I was stuck on the door. Yeah, yeah, you were stuck at the door. So, we, the plan was... So, yeah, we were debating whether, because Clark doesn't tell us the answers, because DM and all that. Because, yeah. like, whether if the Jello monster would go was, like, towards the... Or not? Yeah. What, it, was he a guardian for the door that I was stuck in, or was he just a monster hunting after the largest pack of... Thank God it was fucking... Thank crazy. God it was the latter, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because you would have fucking melted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that would have been bad. Well... <laughs> There's where you're wrong. The Thievius Raccoonus doesn't create <sighs> It takes great thieves. Well, thank you for that, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> it got us through the entirety of this last world. This is the final boss. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Let's go back to back. <laughs> uh, yeah, so the final boss, uh, this is clockwork. Um, I don't understand exactly how it's possible, but... <laughs> um, but, uh... He is basically the enemy of the Cooper gang, like all of the Cooper gangs, like dating back 2,021 years ago. Like, he's been alive that long. And, uh, I guess that's how it works. <laughs> and so he. Yeah, because, like, because the Sly had noticed, like, every single one of these pictures I've seen in my family has this, like, owl silhouette in it. Oh, it's the same owl. 
for like <laughs> all these years and years and years. Okay, cool. And it's still alive. Great. Let's kill it. <laughs> uh, my it, question it is dies. Like, <laughs> why is it? Does, does they ever explain why the fuck that he hates uh, Co the Coopers? Uh, I think like twelve thousand years ago, they're like arch rivals, um, like gangs, and uh, okay. Clockwork just so wants it. So he just wanted his salty run back. Yeah, Cl Clockwork just wanted to prove that like the Cooper gang is nothing without their book, and so Sly is here to prove him wrong. So he wanted his salty run back and still failed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really understand how it works. I think it, it's really because they decided to make Clockwork this like eternal being that's been alive for over twelve thousand years. I think that's why it kind of falters. If it been like a bloodline, like the Coopers, it would have been probably a bit more like cool. But, Perhaps, so. yeah. Especially since like um. Yeah, I get fucked. <laughs> yeah, I have to do the entire boss fight. By the way. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs> what? Yeah, <laughs> thank god they don't do the life system in the later games. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and also uh, and also seeing like after the second game, Clockwork is no longer the main villain of the series. They knew they fucked up. Yep. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> they do complete someone completely new for Sly 3, then someone completely, completely new for Sly 4. So, and that's, that's just how it works. <laughs> Neat. Yeah, and also I hate this obstacle course as well. Well, like I, I get it. It's supposed to be the final level of the game, so it has to be like the most difficult thing possible. So it's really just a me problem, not a game problem. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess it's like, hey, let's dodge all these lasers. But yeah, I do hate the fact that if you fail even this obstacle course, you do have to do There's the like entire no boss points? fight again. No, no checkpoints. You have to do the entire yeah. boss fight. Yeah. So yeah, you have to do the whole jetpack section again as well as the platforming section. You never get rid of me. I'm not here for the next game. <laughs> yep. Well. Uh. Yeah. Well. Too bad, Clockwork. You're dead now. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Stupid idiot. Yep. So yeah, we did it. Uh, and Sly is now recollecting uh, over our journey together through this uh fancy little game here that we just played through. Yay. I know this hasn't been easy, but and he's like, "Thank you, um, Bentley and Murray, for being my closest friends out this entire time. <laughs> we robbed banks together." <laughs> oh man! So yeah, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of fun here and neat. And uh, I think that monitor right there is yeah. was an inside joke for the developers. I think there are a couple of those. Who could ever forget the lovely Oh. Looks like we're not gonna now we're going anymore. to jail, gang. <laughs> no! <laughs> we're back to playing cops and robbers. I thought for sure she was going to slap the handcuffs on me right then and there. But instead, she was true to her word and gave me that 10 second head start. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, The kiss. One. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> you were right! <laughs> uh, get <laughs> Get stupid! <laughs> giant rock, but I knew it wouldn't be long. I mean, he's technically a Frenchman, and they're supposed to be romantic and everything, right? <laughs> get fucked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, don't, she's in the second game, and the third, and the fourth. <laughs> so she'll be here a while. <laughs> kiss one, kiss two, kiss three. <laughs> kiss one, kiss two, kiss three, kiss four. Exactly. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> I like how you're right, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> Never played this game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you could just tell. <laughs> yeah, oh, honestly, most, most of the time, I, I'm just like, uh, I'm just saying random bullshit out of my ass. Like, Oh, this guy happened. I wasn't actually expecting him to kiss. Okay. <laughs> That's hilarious, <laughs> though. Oh, man. Uh, okay, let's get but, uh, this. Yeah. Let's that, get this shit over with. Uh, the that, game was sneaky. I don't play, like, uh, I, don't pl I don't usually play, what's it called? Stealth, game. stealth games, stealth yeah. Game. The only one that plays fucking Assassin's Creed, but even, even then, I just fucking, like, go 
uh, go guns what, down and just uh, use the sword. Yeah, and Assassin's Creed is different because their stealth yeah, mechanics yeah. Are basically um you're They're not weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's a still it's a kind of a cool mechanic. It'd be really cool if they didn't have yearly releases. Um but, uh, <laughs> cool if they had yearly releases. Like their their stealth mechanics is basically you hide amongst the crowd and not out of the crowd. Yeah. 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 You have you have to become one with the crowd. Right. Overall, exactly. Like like I said, like it does game. Kind of blend in. <laughs> uh, it's pretty neat, but it's not not something I would you I would play myself. <laughs> How about you, Josh? Yeah. Uh, it, it, I, I mean, it's it, it, definitely, it definitely looked like it was a pretty fun game and stuff like that. And I mean, they, they, there was from what it kind of sounds like from from you uh, explaining some stuff. There does seem to be some bullshit like gimmicks in some of the levels and stuff. But <laughs> I mean, otherwise, you know, for for a first game on the PS2, I think this is pretty decent. <laughs> yeah, and with those gimmick levels, like I, I do think the weak points of this game are the gimmick levels where they have you do something other than stealth platforming, like the race car things and the twin stick shooters. Sly Cooper yeah. really loves his twin stick shooters. For the record, <laughs> those are persistent. Really now. Those are persistent throughout the entire series. Um, yeah, I not a fan of twi twin stick shooters um, all that often, but they're functionable. Um, yeah, the, the weak parts are the gimmick levels, and, um, like, even the, like, bullshit platforming parts, those are kind of funny. <laughs> Especially, <Yeah. laughs> those are, are, are funny. Especially, kill the friendship and this gun I found. Yeah, especially with, like, the direction that this game is taking is, like, the Saturday morning cartoon-esque kind of yeah. appeal. Which I love the fact that the last two episodes, like, the, the seventh episode, I'm pretty sure, that was that, we yeah. were just talking about fucking Bakugan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> that's just, that's the like most Saturday fucking cartoon shit that you can fucking think of. At least I would. Alright. Uh, before that we we're fucking talking about Power Rangers. Oh you Cameron? I think the only way to get more Saturday cartoon like that is if we talked about Pokemon. <laughs> Hot yeah. I'm surprised we did it. Um so yeah, as the one that I recorded it. Out of like the whole um like trio of PlayStation Two mascots that the PS2 had, I really like Sly Cooper. Like I legitimately enjoy Sly Cooper. I somewhat enjoy Ratchet and Clank. I hate Jack and Dexter. <laughs> I hate Jack and Dexter. Yeah, I do. I really do. But yeah, no, I think Sly Cooper is a really fun series, and it, it's kind of weird going back to the first game, seeing how everything is structured the way it is here, because they retooled everything for the later games is basically like a gta job searching kind of system that it works with and i think it works better especially contextually wise since they're thieves and just like gta you're bad guys <laughs> so yeah in gta 5 you're sneaking around at least not usually yeah you're either <laughs> in gta 5 you're either sneaking around or blowing shit up it, it's nothing in between i really yeah. like the sly cooper franchise i i really like all the games and all that uh, I think, yeah, I think everyone should, like, give the franchise a try, no matter which was, like, one, two, three, four. I think it's a really good franchise. I'd love to see them do a new game for the PS5, especially since Sly 4 ended off on a kind of cliffhanger again, so they need to follow up on that. Please. Um, <laughs> <laughs> please. I need, my heart. I need it. <laughs> yeah. I need it. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's really fun and really good really solid game i enjoy it a lot i would like to do the rest of the games for the channel as well and i'll kidnap people for that as well sorry again <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey it fits with the with the name of the game because we're, we're robbers <laughs> oh yeah exactly i don't think we kidnap p i might have to double take on that <laughs> I was like, I don't think we kidnap people, and I'm like, I think we do. <laughs> Among us! <laughs> Alrighty then, but yeah. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in and watch us. Subscribe to us so you can see maybe Sly 2 in the future, but also all of our other uh, video game no, content. See, for Sly 2, I'm pretty sure none of us guys join you. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. um, and thank you guys for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic night, and take care.